Hello everyone, it's Mike Levin from MikeLevinSEO.com and today I'm going to show you using Pickle to put objects that you have in memory in Python onto the hard drive for later retrieving. It sounds a lot like the Shelve API and Shelve does in fact use Pickling but Shelve uses a key system that you can pull out objects according to keys. Pickle is one step lower where there's no key. And so it starts with, uh, we're just going to use the Python uh, interactive interpreter and we're going to import pickle. And then we're going to be using this really, uh, this comes up because I want to put my username and password into a place where I don't show it on my code examples. So I'm going to make a uh, simple uh, dictionary object uh, and we'll call it, you know, uh, login equals and I'll do open close bracket. So now it's a library object that you can start to put stuff into. So login with the key username equals foo. Login with the key password equals bar. Now we can print that. You can just see what login looks like. Right? It's an object. It's one of these name value pair dictionary things that we've been using all through the project. But we now want that on the hard drive instead of uh, just in memory so that we can grab it again later. And for that, I look at this nifty little stack overflow example that shows the difference between pickles and shelves. And the command is pickle.dump and then the file name that you're, or the uh, variable name that you're using, and then opening a file name with wb for writing versus down here for reading. So, I think I can repeat that. That's pickle.dump the uh, login and then it is open file name comma wb. Hmm, I'll just call it uh, temp. dot pkl comma wb close close and now it's actually on the hard drive and I can exit so I am now back in a command line normal command line and I can do an ls and there is the file that I just created, temp.pkl. Now if I go back into Python, Interactive Interpreter, and I try to print that variable that was login, it's gone. Login is not defined because it's a new session and all that memory stuff has been purged. And so now I do pickle dot, I'm pretty sure it's load, yeah, load, and then open, and we just reverse it with an RB there. Oh, we want to set a variable name equal to that. Login equals pickle.load open. Temp.pkl RB, because we're just reading. Didn't like that. Oh yeah, I need to import pickle. That's not in memory anymore. And now if I just type login, wow, there we have our library again. So if I were to uh, make new variables like username, I could just uh, address the uh, dictionary with its keys.
And now I have the username foo. I could do the same with password. And in this way, I am going to be able to manually create files on the hard drive with values that I'm not going to necessarily show in my tutorial. And because this project is not in web space, uh, I can do uh, a git ignore file to make sure the repository doesn't see it, but it's not anywhere that's really accessible uh, except by being uh, logged in. In the future, I'll probably move it out of the even path of the project itself, maybe one directory level up or maybe in the Unix configuration area uh, called ETC. Um, but for now, I keep it this way because uh, relative paths are really easy when the files you're looking for are in your project directory. So thanks for joining me. We'll be using this knowledge in the next video. Hope to talk to you soon and please subscribe.